come guys uh, so today we are just keep doing these differential vector operators okay so we are uh, I'm trying to introduce differential vector operators before we start be sure to subscribe to my channel okay so uh, one the first page well I want to introduce is a gradient uh, so the the story is that uh, if if we have a function from r3 to r3 r, which is uh, continuous and uh, suppose phi is a function of x1 x2 x3 then uh, we can do the differential uh, total derivative right so that means this quantity can be written as this right so uh, one can write d phi as uh, gradient phi times dr so this is our definition delta phi right del phi so this is gradient phi is a vector the first component is partial f phi partial x partial phi partial y partial phi partial z if uh, phi is a function of x y z okay so now uh, we are restricted ourselves into r3 right but uh, maybe after if we talk about uh, differential geometry then we can extend this r3 to the general manifold so example is the suppose somebody want to cal calculate gradient for Rn. So the gradient has the similar rules as Leibniz. So this is a chain rule, right? So gradient of R uh, delta Rn is basically an Rn minus one gradient R. Right. So all we need to know is calculate this gradient R. So uh, gradient R. What is gradient R? Right. Gradient R is partial R partial x. Right. Partial R partial y. Partial R, partial Z. So remember this R now is square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So uh partial R partial x is just R x, right? So part gradient R just R hat. R hat means the maybe I read x over R, y over R, z over R. Right, so this is R hat. So this is answer. Uh one famous result is this Coulomb row. So this is and it's minus one, right? So it gives you this. If you plug, and it goes minus one. Okay. The next thing is the divergence. So, divergent act on a vector, right? So A is a vector field. So A is a vector field for R three, basically R three to R three. And uh, the the divergent A is defined to be this one. So divergent A is a scalar. Okay, so for example, if someone give wants to calculate this diverger of R, then this R is basically uh, now it's vector, so it's x y z. So partial x over x is one, partial y partial y is one, partial z partial z is one. So which reduced to uh, gradient R is three. Uh, more generally, uh, we can calculate the uh, f of R, R hat. So remember, divergence act on a vector field. So this must be f of r r hat so uh right so this is the divergence act on the r hat so r hat well i already say is x over r y over r z over r so it's this okay so we need to calculate partial x right we need to calculate partial uh partial partial x x f of r divided by r and uh, uh y f of r divided by uh, derivative respect to y and respect to z so with respect to x, we can use chain rules. So we first do the res differential respect to x, respect to r, and then respect to uh, 1 over r. Uh, this is 1 over r, this is r. So we have this. Okay. Well, so we just sum of this, right? So finally, uh, the gradient of r will become like f of r. So we have three of them, right? r over 3. And then we add that up, so we have x y x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by r cube plus r squared uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared uh, f prime of r. So this is r squared. This is r squared. So right. So this is. Uh, so these two, uh, these two combination will give you the first term, right? Three minus one become two, and this r square will cancel, so you have df of r over dr. Okay, so this is also a, a really good example that uh, you can check. 
So for Spanish special, is you get that f of r to be r to n, then you get this. Okay, so the uh, the next is curl row, right? So curl row is basically uh, give you a vector field from r three to r three, and then it will give you another r three to r three. So define the release. You put partial x, partial y, partial z, and the vx, vi, vz put in here, and then you put the uh, 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 vector field. Okay, so one example is like uh, we ca want to calculate the uh, previous f of r r hat and calculate the uh, uh, the curl row so we can write r as this okay so one uh, calculation is very easy it's basically just calculate x component so okay so x component is this ex right so this is partial y partial z uh, v y v z right so x component is partial y v z minus partial z v y so it's partial y z f of r divided by r and the z minus this partial z y f of r divided by r and then use chain rules so we can separate into two and the final we, we find is zero right so if x, by symmetry if x component is zero then all of it is zero okay so one final example that uh, i want to show is basically this one so this one is very easy uh we can dress right yes so it's minus y at x so it's minus y and x and zero partial x partial y partial z x easy so for x is zero for the y is zero but for the z right you can get fine it's two right so this is the non-trivial uh non-trivial vector field okay so the next time we will calculate or we'll define the laplace and, and the other combination of differential operators be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i will see you guys in the next video thanks